lights are fitted throughout the building. Motion sensors are installed in the emergency stairways and the lifts are energy saving. An energy efficient central water heating system provides an uninterrupted supply of hot water to each individual unit. All bathrooms are fitted with the most luxurious water efficient fittings. A rainwater harvesting tank is incorporated into the building, which irrigates the landscape throughout the grounds of Ken Bangsa. An innovative cooling system called Chiel was devised at the lobby of the building, which replaces the need for air conditioning. The Chiel system is a synergetic system which enables hot water to be produced for the public area toilets whilst the evaporative water feature at the lobby naturally lowers the temperature for the double volume lounge and lift lobby. Beyond all the luxury finishes and fittings you'd naturally expect of a stylish high-end residence, you will soon discover a host of exciting, environment-sensitive features because living well is simply not good enough unless it is also living right. Ken Bangsa, a luxuriously sustainable development brought to you by Ken Holdings Burhad. Raj, I would like to have a property like that. Tell me how I can own one. Ask your father or mother or marry a rich uh, man. Or maybe I try my luck on this Wednesday, Saturday, last Sunday. <laughs> to strike jackpot. Yeah, yeah that's always that, that option. Mm. So, we've, Sam, uh, we've seen a quick video presentation with regards to what uh, Ken Holdings sure. has to offer. I think this is your new property uh, development project. But can you just share a bit more about the origins of Ken Holdings? Mm. Okay, uh, Ken Holdings started in 1980. We are 33 years old this mm. year. And uh, we started out as an engineering company. So, we have expertise in almost everything. Um, engineering, construction, building. We've done highways, bridges, roads, specialist engineering. Uh, we've done land reclamation of Westport. Wow! Everything. We, we've done a lot of uh, um, slope stabilization works all over the country and also in Hong Kong. And uh, basically, we come from an engineering outfit. And with that, the natural progression was to go into property development. Mm -hmm. Um, that assures us a more stable income. Yep. It's about being sustainable. The company has always had this thing about sustainability. It's not only about uh, green measures, it's also about sustaining the company. Uh, we are a public listed company, yep. and uh, we've always been delivering returns to shareholders, and that's what we want to do. We want to sustain that. We don't want uh, one year to be up, one year to be down, mm -hmm. and you become very volatile. So we, we, we put ourselves in a very clear direction in, in, in that we want to be very, very... Uh, smooth sailing going forward and ensure that we have um, the enough returns for our shareholders to keep them happy and uh, to continue doing the different things that, that we actually do. So um, one of the uh, things that we're very, very well known in Malaysia for is for being the pioneering green developer. Mm. Um, Ken Bangsa is actually the first green development in Malaysia. Mm. It's the first green building in Malaysia and in 2009 we won the BCA Greenmark Gold Plus Award. Um, it was the highest rated building then and it still is now for residential properties. Um, I think it will be surpassed by one of our projects coming up later. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we are very passionate about. It's because uh, we believe that when you build a home, we need to uh, uh, get a home which performs. A lot of people, I say, know more about their cars <laughs> than their actual homes. Yeah. You know, you know the horsepower of the car. You know the torque. You know the zero features. to hundred yeah, yeah, in, in, yeah. in how many seconds. That's but right. nothing about your home, and you spend the most time actually in your house. Mm. So you do not know how much heat your home actually traps in. Mm. You do not know uh, how much energy it actually uses up. Uh, all the time, but we know how much petrol a car uses. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's something that we really want to educate our buyers. That, that's very important because that affects your daily spending. Mm -hmm. It affects mm -hmm. your electricity bill, it affects your water bill, but more importantly, because Malaysia, electricity and water is still relatively very because cheap. Because it's heavily subsidised mm -hmm. by the heavily government. Subsidized, that's mm -hmm. right. right. But what we want to do is to help 
change that behavior just because it's subsidized, just because it's cheap, cheap doesn't yeah. mean that we can waste it. Exactly. Yeah, I yeah. think that's not the right way to do things. I mm -hmm. totally agree. And it won't be subsidized forever. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, there are hints that the electricity prices right. will go up further. And at the end of the day, what are we doing for our environment? Mm -hmm. I think that's very important. Mm -hmm. I always say that we are no tree hugging hippies. <laughs> we, we are a company and we must um, make profits for our shareholders. That, that's our job. But I believe that we can do that both in tandem. We can uh, still be profitable and yet be sustainable. And that's the balance that we need to strike. Mm -hmm. Because if you continue just, uh, being, uh, just going forwards into sustainability without anything to back you up, you're just a charity. And, and where does the funds come from? Mm -hmm. So you need to be able to do both at the same time. That's what we believe. So for Ken Holdings, um, as, as a property developer, everything that we do is green. And it comes very naturally to us because even when we did Ken Damansara 1, 2 and 3, we were already thinking, how do you um, get a home which is cool? That's you know, right. it, doesn't, it doesn't bring in a lot of heat. Now mm -hmm. that's very important. So um, I've written articles on this um, and I, I've compared principles of feng shui to mm. green design. So what happened in, in um, imperial palaces of China a few thousand years ago and how come it's not uh, in today's uh, thinking, today's architecture? It's because we've gotten too used to the conveniences that we have. If it's too dark, put on the light. Mm -hmm. yeah, if yeah. it's too hot, turn on the aircon. Air mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah, you, you, you apparently solve your problems, but it's not good for the long run. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. We're bringing everything back to basics. It's actually very simple. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as the light bulb, the energy savings, yeah? That's right. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you select the proper light bulbs, you select um, air conditioning carefully, right. mm -hmm. and it's, it's just about knowing. A lot of times, it's just that a lot of people do not know. They don't right. have the awareness. Now, the interesting with regards to your strategy right now, as we all know, having all this green technology uh, incorporated into your housing, naturally, there will be an additional cost yep. incurred with regards to that. But yep. of course, uh, trying to sell that idea to change the mindset of, of the public out there is something you're, you're focusing on because end of the day you're not looking at the short term right you're looking right. at the long mm. term that's right it's tough because you see um, when we started Ken Bangsa Ken Bangsa is a very high end sure. um, yeah. boutique development so it, it is at a very high price because it's in a very exclusive area mm. and the finishes are all of the highest quality mm. now that doesn't give that impression uh, which is right for the public because uh, it, it says that green buildings are expensive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, we managed to do it in Ken Rimba. Right. Ken Rimba, it's a 60-acre freehold township in Shah Alam. The first phase of landed terrace homes, which are freehold, mm -hmm. um, we managed to sell them below 400,000 ringgit Hmm. And they are the first green terrace houses in the country. Well, not only are they green, yeah. they are below 400,000. Right. And it's we're talking within yeah. Klang Valley as That's well. Right. Oh, That's God, right. we missed out. Freehold. Right. Freehold free free as so, well. Um, how many properties are actually under Ken? Um, oh, we've got a lot. Um, Ken Damansara 1, 2, 3. There's mm. Ken Aman, there's Ken Rimba. We've got Ken TTDI coming up. Uh, right. Mm. Uh, there's, there's quite a lot. And, and in future, our JB project is a huge project for us. We've got lands in Penang and, and everywhere else. So a lot is coming up. Uh, right. For the group, as you say, the lifeblood of any property developer is your land banks. That's right, and that that's very crucial. We know land prices are going up and up and up. So, where are your major land banks uh, at the moment around Malaysia? Um, we've almost a footstep, small footstep in every single uh, state. Uh, we have land in Penang. We have land in Pahang, Genting, Perak, uh, Malacca, JB. Uh, we're going to do some projects uh, in Kelantan. So almost everywhere. It's, it's our vision to be able to plant a green flag <laughs> in every mm. state in the country. And uh, we've been offered many opportunities to explore. And that's what we're going to try to do. Mm -hmm. And hopefully that will send the message and people will become more exposed to the fact that green homes are the way of the future. That's At the right. end of the day, we want to focus on sustainability. That's right. Mm -hmm. that we all always it. want to open up our window, take a deep breath and go, ah, it's a beautiful home. Instead of... <laughs> Something like that, right, Raj? Definitely. Mm. All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break right now. Now, if you have any thoughts with regards to the major projects, especially mm. Ken Bangsa, right? And of course, Ken, uh, Rimba. Uh, Ken Rimba Jimbaran residence, which unfortunately recently sold out. Well, you can always email us at updates at capitaltv.my or tweet us at the Capital TV. And when we come back, we're going to look in terms of what other projects Ken Holdings is looking at in the near future.
That's right, you're watching Morning Bell with me, Raj Arya and Joanne Kwan as we speak to Sam Tan, the Group Managing Director of Ken Holdings and we're talking about property and in particular green property. Mm. Now, just now you mentioned about Ken Rimba Jimbaran residence and I believe that there was a movement towards green, green developments, green properties and all that. At what point in time that you decided that this was the strategy which you're going to take forward? Um, like I mentioned earlier, uh, when we did our first development, we already started thinking green. Uh, the thing was, at that time, no one really uh, caught, caught it on and yeah. it wasn't fashionable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was in 2000. Um, we were thinking of how, what materials we can use to ensure that you re reduce a lot of heat coming into the building. Mm -hmm. We were doing a lot of natural ventilation. We were saving trees even around the yeah. mm -hmm. areas. We actually diverted a river just to save a huge tree. Really? Which was wow. there. That would have been very and expensive. <laughs> it was, and it wasn't even on our land. Okay. It was actually across the road, uh, mm. across the river, in fact. So uh, it's something that we've always uh, took on as part of our philosophy. So it's very easy for us, and it's very natural. So when the thing, when green became um, a fashionable word, mm. um, it was 2008, 2009, the BCA of Singapore, Building Construction Authority of Singapore, mm. started their Green Mark Division in 2005. So they were also starting at that point. And uh, a lot of people were talking about it. So when we, com when we were finishing our Ken Bangsa project, um, we went to explore and they told us that, okay, you must do this, 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 this mm. to be right. able to be a green project. And we said, oh, we've done all that. Mm. Mm -hmm. He said, are you sure? He said, yeah, <laughs> the building's complete. I can't change it now. That's right. Mm -hmm. So when they came and did the assessment, we got one of the highest ratings. Mm -hmm. And they were very amazed because we never went through any consultation. We never saw any of the standards that they set. It was just something that we decided mm -hmm. was something that's good to do. Mm -hmm. So we did that. Um, Ken Rimba was to follow on. So Ken Rimba um, actually... Is, is, is a location where we try to make things affordable. It's, they're good homes. They're beautiful homes which, which we've built um, and we want to try to maximize efficiency of the homes. But um, the thing is, how do you, how do you make uh, green homes affordable? That's the, that's that's right. the hardest mm. thing because, like you said earlier, uh, there is inherent increase in costs. Yeah. Um, when we do a natural skylight roof, the tile, the transparent roof tile is about 50 times more expensive than normal. Mm. So you will have extra cost. Rainwater harvesting tanks for mm. each individual house, we have two per house, mm. um, there's an extra cost. Um, you, you want extra light, you actually add more glass. You increase ceiling heights, yes, now that yes. is extra cost. Yes. The thing is, because we are both the construct, construction outfit, the engineering outfit yeah. and the developer, we're able to create synergies. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. one plus one equals three. Three, yes. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what we do. Um, it's tough, it's very tough for our team, but I think you know, we've got a good team to, to make this happen. Mm -hmm. So it's about setting the mindset right from day one. It's about getting that philosophy right from the top and letting it go all the way to, mm -hmm. to the entire organisation. Mm -hmm. That is what I understand from uh, Ken Holdings, that you have a, actually a very straight line to follow when it comes to green development. Yep. Uh, in fact, your office is also That's to right. follow the straight um, You see, what, what we have is this, um, we're able to build the top rated green buildings. Uh, they, they, they come in four different ranges. Uh, one is certified mm. gold, gold plus and platinum. It's mm. like your university degree. You get a pass, you get a second lower, second upper, credit, and, and distinction. First class. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how do you differentiate the, right. the ratings of the buildings? And that's how you mm -hmm. that's how you see it. Getting platinum is not an issue for us, and that's what we're trying to do. We're even trying to get very high rated green uh, condos in Kenrimba, mm -hmm. uh, which is something that a lot of people are waiting for now, and yet still make it affordable. Uh, that that's a that's a very tough thing to do. We actually put the building through computational fluid dynamics. Uh, you imagine um, Formula One cars and and airplanes going through wind tunnel simulations. That's, right. mm -hmm. That's exactly what we do for our buildings. Oh, so high tech, eh? That's right. Yeah. Because, <laughs> you never imagine mm -hmm. properties. Because the idea is this: we have um, we have wind at a very high altitude, and when you're in a condo, you're actually in a very high altitude. So what you want to do is try to maximize this. Right. Use what Mother Nature gives us. Right. Yes. right. And use yes. it to our benefit. That's that's important. Right. I understand your new head headquarters can TTDI is going to incorporate all of this. That's right. Into it. That's right. So that's that's the easy part. Getting it platinum rated yep. is easy. What we want to try to do now is to change behavior, is to change the occupant's behavior. Mindset. Mindset. mindset yeah. And that's very tough because, um, you see, what, what we do in our own office currently is to reward people uh, for being green. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, if you, if you um, leave the toilet, turn off the lights. If you leave the office when you go for lunch, turn off the air con, turn off the lights. And we have a competition among oh. our, our own well internal staff. And that's what we're trying to do for, for the new building. It's about a mindset change. Mm. No, no use putting an energy-saving bulb when it's turned on 24 hours. That's right.